Peritoneal dialysis. This story is about one way of looking after sick kidneys called peritoneal dialysis. They call it PD for short. This story will tell you a little bit about PD and how PD works. This story is in English, but you can get an interpreter to tell you the story in your language. Ask your doctor, nurse or health worker to get an interpreter for you. There might be someone in your community who can help tell this story in your language. Or the Aboriginal Interpreter Service can find an interpreter for you. The number for Central Australia is 8951 double five seven six the number for the top end is eight triple nine eight three five three PD is good for some people with sick kidneys because that way they can stay at home on country with their family if you do PD you can do dialysis in your own home, in your community. The other way of looking after sick kidneys is called hemodialysis. Most people have to live in town to do hemodialysis. If you do hemodialysis in town, it will be difficult or even not possible for you to go back home. What is peritoneal dialysis and how does peritoneal dialysis work? Inside your abdomen, you have a very thin skin that goes around your intestines and your stomach and liver. That thin skin has two walls and water can go inside there. The thin skin is called the peritoneum. The space where the water goes is called peritoneal cavity. That thin skin is joined to your blood by very small blood vessels. This is a picture of a wallaby's peritoneum. The word dialysis is about cleaning your blood. When you do PD, you fill up that peritoneum with a kind of water for cleaning called dialysis fluid. When the cleaning water is in your peritoneum, the rubbish in your blood goes into the water. The rubbish in your blood passes through the thin skin and goes into the dialysis water. After the rubbish in your blood has entered into the dialysis water, you let it go out of your peritoneum. This is how peritoneal dialysis cleans your blood. This is how you do PD. You have a long soft tube that starts at the peritoneum, comes out from your abdomen and then connects to two plastic bags. One bag is full, one bag is empty. First you let the used water from inside your peritoneum go out into the empty bag. After that you let the cleaning water from the full bag go into your peritoneum. You throw the used water down the toilet. This cleaning water stays in your peritoneum for some time 
maybe about four hours. While it is in there, the rubbish in your blood can move from your blood into the water. After a few hours, you start again. You let out the used water, which goes out into the empty bag. Then you fill up again with the cleaning water. Every time you fill up with cleaning water and let out the used water, that cleans your blood and your body. To do PD, first you have to have an operation at the hospital. The doctor will make a small hole into your peritoneum. The doctor will put a small soft tube into this hole. This is called a catheter. The catheter lets the dialysis water go in and out of your peritoneum. You can do PD during the day or overnight. If you do PD every night, a machine will control the way the dialysis water goes in and out of your peritoneum. You need to set the machine and bags up before you go to sleep. While you are sleeping, the machine will let the used water go out to empty bags and cleaning water fill up into your peritoneum. You will need to be connected to the machine and bags for 10 hours overnight every night. If you do PD during the day, you have to fill and empty the bags four times a day every day. So maybe early morning, midday, afternoon, and night time. You only have to sit there for 30 minutes while you empty the used water and fill up with cleaning water. When you are not doing the emptying and filling, you can do what you want to do. You can work, go hunting, relax, sit down with family, keep on doing the things you like to do. Some people can even keep doing the things they like at the same time as emptying and filling the bags. If you are interested in peritoneal dialysis, you can talk to your kidney doctor and nurse. They will talk to you about your sickness and they will do some blood and urine tests. Some people have other illnesses that make it difficult to do PD. The doctor or nurse will tell you if they think PD is right for you. 
doing peritoneal dialysis will change a lot of things for you. If you don't already live in town, then you will have to move from your community into town to learn how to do PD. It might take you some time to understand how PD might change your life. Not only you, but your family and your community too. It is good to think about it for a long time and to talk with your family and health workers. If you do move into town, then a social worker or Aboriginal liaison officer can help you with things like finding a house, transport, like when buses go, and Centrelink forms. If you want to, you can talk to them about your problems and they will try and help. You will do your training at the PD clinic. The PD nurses will teach you how to do your PD and look after your catheter and tube. They will train you and help you until you and your community are ready for you to do your PD from home. When you move back home, PD nurses will still visit you to help you. They will also teach you how to get more bags and how to look after your bags. If you are doing PD, it is very important to keep your body and your house really clean to protect yourself from germs. You cannot see germs, but they are everywhere and they can cause infections and make you sick. To be safe, you have to keep everything clean. Your body, your hands, your teeth, your clothes, your house. Keep your dogs and cats outside because they can bring in germs. You have to keep the place where you do PD very clean. You should be very careful about keeping your catheter clean. That catheter is a small hole to the inside of your body. If germs get in there, you can get very sick and it can be dangerous. The nurses will show you the best way to take care of your catheter. Peritoneal dialysis is great if you have kidney disease. If you live on country, you will have to move into town at first to get a catheter and learn how to do PD. But it's quick and easy to learn. Once you learn how to do PD well, you can do dialysis anywhere. You can live in your community, live with family, keep living your life the way you want to. If you start dialysis and decide you don't want to do it anymore, you can stop. But if you stop dialysis, you will finish up sooner. If you decide to do this, the doctors, nurses and health workers will help you. Watch the chapter called Palliative Care to find out more.